This video is going to cover routine maintenance for most Lincoln Electric engine drives, including how to check oil levels and inspect air filters. Refer to your specific machine's operator's manual for maintenance requirements and safety precautions. Always remember to wear the appropriate personal safety protection, including safety glasses, gloves, and closed-toed boots. If for any reason you do not understand the procedure or are unable to perform the maintenance safely, contact the Lincoln Electric Service Department for troubleshooting assistance before you proceed. Call 1-888-935-3877. New engine-driven welders are shipped with the negative battery cable disconnected. The operator's manual located in the compartment will describe the steps needed to get the machine running. Connect the terminal and fill with fuel according to the manual. Decals on the machine indicate fuel type. Fill the tank according to the gauge, as filling to the neck may lead to overflow when the machine warms up. Filling the tank at the end of the day prevents moisture buildup. Engine drives have a break-in period. Typical break-in schedule for engine drives operating under normal conditions is 100 hours before oil change and 200 hours for oil filter. Again, specific times are in your operator's manual and labeled on the machine. To change the oil, make sure that the engine switch is in the stop position. It's best to drain the oil while the engine is warm to assure rapid and complete draining. Oil change is covered in the maintenance section of the manual. Remove the oil filler cap and dipstick. Remove the yellow cap from the oil drain valve and attach the flexible drain tube supplied with the machine. Push in and twist the drain valve counterclockwise. Pull the valve out and drain the oil into a suitable container. Close the drain valve by pushing in and twisting clockwise. Replace the yellow cap. Refill to the upper limit mark on the dipstick with the recommended oil. Make certain that the oil filler cap is securely tightened after checking or adding oil. Oil consumption can increase significantly, which will be made apparent by white smoke coming from the exhaust. Clean and re-oil the foam pre-filter every 25 hours. Replace the air cleaner filter every 100 hours. More frequent servicing is required with dusty operating conditions. Clean both surfaces using a clean cloth to remove any contaminant on the sealing surface that could hinder effective seal and cause leakage. Engine manufacturers say that it only takes a few grams of dirt to dust an engine. Inspect the old filter for signs of a leak. A streak of dust on the clean side of the filter is a telltale sign of a leak. Inspect the new filter for damage. Insert the filter properly. No cover pressure is required to hold the seal. Never use the service cover to push the filter into place. The cover should go on with no extra force. Refer to the maintenance section of the engine owner's manual for the maintenance schedule, spark plug servicing, cooling system servicing, and fuel filter replacement. Routine maintenance will prolong the life of your welding equipment and ensure proper performance throughout its life cycle. Engine drive welders are part of Lincoln's rapid response program. If you have questions, contact us anytime.